He said, yes, Lord. Glory to God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Kingdom. Yes. Wow. We're looking for a kingdom pastor. Yes. Wow. 
Wow. We're looking for wow. someone in the marketplace that understands kingdom principles. Wow. Wow. And this is training ground. Yes. Yes. I don't know what I saw the Lord this morning about releasing this assignment. If it's passing on to someone else and what I need to do with it. But I, I've been talking to God seriously about that. But what he's telling me is that keep training these people mm -hmm. because the time is mm -hmm. coming when they're going to be needed to teach the people the kingdom. As my wife was talking about just earlier, people got to understand that the principles of the whole country supersede any reality that's going on yes, in this effort. Yes, yes. And that's what we're assigned to do. We're wow. assigned to teach the people so that you can be released out. Wow. And go out and teach. Amen. Amen. So uh, don't take it for granted this morning yes. that you just uh, you just get an opportunity yes. to teach our kingdom of ministers. You get an opportunity to yes. prepare yourself yes. for when the multitude begin to call. Amen. 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 And Prophet, that just goes along with um, our mission statement. As you were speaking, I was looking to provoke people to seek yes. first the kingdom of God and his righteousness yes. by compelling them yes. to prioritize and make it the kingdom first. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on, Elder Ward, and yes. release what God has given you to release. Amen. 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 If it had not been so, amen, Jesus would have never prayed, God, if not 
not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. Yes. Um, I asked my wife if she would open the, her Bible to and read for me on this morning. Amen. Yes. I want to pull a scripture, amen, from John, the fifth chapter, amen, the 30th verse. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. I'm going to try to back these three things up really quick, amen, so I can get into what God has already had for us on okay. this stone today. Amen. amen. John 5 and 30. Amen. John 5 and 30 says, the New King James Version, I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. All right. Amen. And that was Jesus speaking, amen. Yes. Therefore, he's letting us know, amen, that he ain't trying to do nothing to please himself, amen. Everything that he's doing, he's trying to do to please the Father. Yes. Amen. How many of us right now are ready to try to please the Father, amen? Yes. And we really want today, amen, to crucify the flesh, amen, that we will walk in the way of the kingdom and not try to do what the world is trying to do. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. The second task that Jesus had on his mind, amen, was to instill value. Wow. All right. Yes. All right. Amen. All right. I'm going to back that up, amen, and, 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 and the prophets spoke on it this morning, Matthew 6, 33, amen. Yes. We don't even have to turn there, amen. We know it, amen. He says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added, amen. The but, amen, actually, was nothing to let everybody know that because you worried about the things of the world, you worried about your bills, you worried about your family, you worried about being worried, amen. But he said, if you don't worry about those things, then put your focus on the kingdom of God. And everything else is going to fall into place. Amen. This is Jesus talking to us, amen. This is Jesus, amen, the one that is our, is our, our, our pillow, amen, the one that we should be trying to copy, amen. And the third point, amen, that Jesus tried to bring home to us, amen, and tried to remind us, amen. He came, amen, he came to fulfill a promise, amen, and the promise was to empower his people. Yes. Amen. I can back it up, amen. If you would turn in the book of Acts, amen. The first chapter, amen. The eighth verse, amen. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We're going somewhere with this, amen. We're going somewhere on today with this, amen. 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 Acts 1 8 says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has mm -hmm. come upon you. Mm -hmm. And you shall be witness yes. to me in Jerusalem yes. and all of Judea mm -hmm. and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Yes. Amen. 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 Where is your Samaria? Wow. Where is your Jerusalem? Yep. Amen. Amen. And I don't care how far you think somebody will push you, amen. Guess what? They ain't push you to the end. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 But Jesus, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, amen. Jesus reminded his disciples, amen, when they didn't want him to leave, he said, I must go. Yes. I must go. He didn't say, I want to go. He said, I must go. Yes. Amen. He didn't act like he was in a rush to go, amen, but he said he must go. Because guess what? The Father had a mandate on him as well, amen. Talk about kingdom citizens, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, even if it don't feel right, we just got to do right. Yeah, yeah. Must yeah. Come on. Must go. He said, I must go. Must go. Why he must go? Because he had to go, amen. That he could sit back in the comforter, amen. That's why we got something yeah. growing yeah. and moving and yeah. growing and moving yeah. and shaking yeah. down on the inside of each yeah. and every one of us, amen. Yeah. Because yeah. Jesus left yeah. behind us. He said uh -huh. that he must go, amen. Must that he can send the Holy Comforter back, amen. That he will reveal all things, all truth. For each and every one of us, amen. When Jesus was walking around, amen, the disciples were proud to be with him, amen. The multitude followed him, amen. But guess what? They were following one person. But since he left, amen, the Holy Spirit has come, amen, and he is ready to dwell within each and every one of us, amen. That's why when you get up before somebody and you begin to speak the word of God, amen, you should be bold enough to say, amen, when you see me. Amen. 
amen, the Lord of Lords, amen. And I want to take it one step further, amen. We want to think about God as being our manufacturer. Wow. Amen. Why is he our manufacturer? Because guess what? He made us. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. I don't care whether you're driving a uh, Lexus or Mercedes or Pinto. It don't make no difference. Amen. When you run into a major problem, amen, you still got to go back to the dealer or to the manufacturer, amen, to get what you need. Yes. Amen. I'm a mechanic and I know my trade very well, amen, but I don't make parts. So even if I decide to fix it myself, I still got to go to the manufacturer to get what I need to buy. We got to be brave enough, amen, to go to the manufacturer. Yes, yes. It don't matter what it look like. It don't matter what it feel like. Amen. It don't even matter what nobody else say, amen. I'm here to remind you on today, amen. God is placing some people in our midst. And because he's put them there, he's put them there for a reason. The reason he put them there, amen, and yeah. Prophet was saying earlier, amen. We should be willing uh -huh. Uh -huh. to train up, wow. yeah. uh -huh. teach, teach. Yeah. and power, yeah. amen. Motivate yeah. when needed, amen. Yeah. Because guess what? Not everybody that we think is ready, amen, think that they're ready. That's good. Uh, so sometimes we have to motivate them, yeah. amen, not not to, to, to do something that you want them to do, but you need to motivate them yeah. to get into the word of God enough that they will begin yeah. to see themselves yeah. clearly. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. There's one man I want to bring forth, amen, and I have to call on him on this morning, amen, and that's John the Baptist. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. <laughs> the, the word of God said John the Baptist was a forerunner. Yeah. Yeah. And, and anybody, anybody ever thought about running, amen, you can get tired sometimes when you're running, amen. You, you, you try to get your second wind, amen, and, and John the Baptist, amen, he was out there in the desert, amen, and he was doing things that everybody wanted to talk about, him, and most of the people that wanted to talk about him weren't talking good about him, amen. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you actually read the word, amen, some of the people even went so far to say that he was crazy there, amen. Yeah. But guess what? John the Baptist had a purpose. Yeah. John the Baptist had a, had a reason for doing what he was doing, amen. In fact, John the Baptist was a leader, amen. And, 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 and to, to actually tell you what kind of leader he was, John the Baptist was a transitional leader. Wow. Yeah. Amen. Right. Why, why do I say he was a transitional leader? John the Baptist was a transitional leader, and what a transitional leader is, John the Baptist was a leader, amen, that began something, amen, but he knew that God had called him to make a way, amen, not for himself, but because somebody else was coming behind him. Amen. When John the Baptist got to the point that God had already called him, amen, when Jesus showed up on the scene, amen, John the Baptist was like the, like, 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 like the people in the 440 relay, amen. John the Baptist, he received the still in stride, amen, when he passed the baton, amen. And not only did he pass the baton, but he stayed in stride, amen. Anybody that knows about a 440 relay, amen, there's four people in a 440 relay, amen. And when the four people in the 440 relay, we don't all run together. We don't all run together in the 440 relay, amen, because guess what, we all stand on the same line.
you pass the baton, amen. Uh, guess what? The second man you think is good at discretion. Uh, the third man you think is good at the scratch leg. Right. So you hoping the scratch leg man, the first man, has enough lead, enough power, enough will, amen, uh -huh. to push himself far enough ahead, amen. Yeah. And when we're talking about that, we're talking right now, we're speaking king, we're talking about, amen, as the prophet, amen, has been teaching and pulling out himself, amen. He has pushed himself beyond where most people even think they're going to be in the future. <laughs> So what happened? What happened? He pushed himself so far ahead, amen, that when he passed the baton to the next person, amen, they have to, they have to be able to maintain what he has already given. They have to be able to just maintain so that when, it, when the time comes, when things come up against you, amen, you're able to be sure that you are able to stand on what the word of God is already. Amen. That you're sure that you can stand on the kingdom principle.
why you're tired. That's why you wild. That's why you're trying to figure out what you're going to do from moment to moment because you're so busy trying to run the 440 relay by yourself. Amen. You can't run a 440 relay against four people. Yes. <laughs> Amen. That's why they put four good ones. Yeah. Amen. And all four of them is usually very good sprinters. Guess why? Yeah. They don't have they don't have to run no. the whole distance. Hallelujah. They can pull out all that they got. Yes, God. And then they can coast because the next man is going to take them the rest of the way. Amen. Yeah. But when we try to do it all ourselves, yeah. we get tired, we get weary, yeah. we get worn out. Yeah. God say there's some people right now, amen, that's in a position, amen. And he told me to let you know, amen, that it's getting up time. Yes, God. Amen. And what he means by it's getting up time, it don't mean that you're in the wrong place. It just means that where you are at right now, start to believe that he's going to do something else to motivate you, to, 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 to impel you, to propel you, amen, to get you to the next level where you need to be, amen. And when you get there, amen, God said that not only is he going to promote you, amen, but he's going to bless you on that level as well. Amen. 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 He told me to let you know, amen, that you can look at your neighbor and let your neighbor know, amen, where I am right now. God has placed me. But where I am right now is not permanent. God is going to do more than what you think. God is doing something, yes, it amen. Is. How many of y'all read it? Yes. 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 Matthew 25 and 14 says, For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own service and delivered his goods to them. Amen. Continue. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. Yeah. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. Uh -huh. But he who received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. Amen. Stop right there. Amen. I want to say amen. I just want to bring one thing to the forefront. We always talk about the man that received five talents. Uh -huh. Amen. He did a marvelous job of what he had. Amen. We talk about the, the master, amen, who gave the five talents. Amen. He did a marvelous job. Amen. We, we don't look at it like that sometimes, but he did a marvelous job. Amen. He entrusted the people with part of his goods. Amen. And just to let you know, amen, when you look, think about the talents, amen, they wasn't talking about a little bit of money, amen. If it was gold, amen, one talent was almost three million dollars. Amen. amen. So we're going to talk about the man that God said represent 95% of us. Wow. That was the man with two talents. He said that one of the biggest reasons that we are not where we should be is because we were like the man with the two talents. We took what God gave us. We did what we thought God expected us to do. But even in doing that, amen, because we had two talents and not five, we were thinking more about the man that had five. God, why you didn't give me three more? He said, why are you worried about the three? Because if you're worried about the three, you can't concentrate on the two more. You should already be kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And they all have, amen. He said that they've been standing up there trying to sugarcoat things, trying to change things around, amen, thinking that they're better than somebody else because they got two instead of one. Yeah. He said, I gave to each according to their ability. Amen. God said on today, amen, to remind somebody on today, amen, if you are 20 ounce bottle of water, don't try to be a gallon. <laughs> yes, sir. He said, I 
given you. Amen. And he wants you to go back to Jeremiah. Amen. He says that before you were formed in your mother's womb, uh -huh. I foreknew you. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. That means he was intimate with you. He placed in you what you already needed. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. Amen. He said, I put in you what you needed. Yeah. Don't discredit what I've already put in you. Take what I've given you and use it in the way that you should. Amen. Yeah. And everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Scripture reminds me, he says, and my wife and I had a conversation about this, amen, because I've misquoted the scripture for about 25 years. And I thought I was saying something, I thought I was sounding deep, I thought I was doing a good thing, amen. Uh -huh. And guess what? The majority of us misquoted, misquoted that same scripture. The scripture <laughs> quoted correctly says, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Amen. Amen. We run around saying, if you have faith the size, the size of a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. God said, that ain't right. Mm -hmm. He said, sometimes we take your stuff out of context. Uh -huh. He said, that if you got faith as a grain of mustard seed, don't look at the size of it. He said, if you got faith that is a mustard seed, that means that when I made that mustard seed, everything that was required for that mustard seed to become a mustard plant was already put inside of it. Amen. When it got dropped in the ground, all it did was grow. He said, and going back to Jeremiah again, he said, I placed within you everything that was required for you to do the will of the Father. Yes, yes. The only thing you need to do is get out of the flesh and get into the spirit and nothing can stop you. Wow, 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 wow. All the time is going in the way of He said, Let somebody know. Matter of fact, you can look at your neighbor. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Close in a very few seconds. Amen. He said, "Look at your neighbor and tell him, 'I'm like an iceberg. I'm like an iceberg. You see the tip. You see, you see the tip. tip. <laughs> but there's so much more to me. There's so much more to me. You need to surface. You need to surface." <laughs> He said that, he said that, if you, yeah. because we look at this dirt seed, yes. how many of y'all know that this, this dirt seed, right. ain't nothing but a dirt seed, he said if you stop looking at the dirt seed, uh -huh. and start looking at the spirit side of it, mm. there is no limitations, wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. he said you can propel yourself, yes, yes, to higher heights. Uh -huh. Why do I say to you? Yes, yes. Amen. Mm. Because the word of God tells you that you can speak it as though it were, yeah. and it shall come to pass. Yeah. 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 Amen. He said for you to see, he didn't say that I'm gonna bring it out there and stick it in front of your face and make you think that you got it. Amen. He said if you seek yes. first, yes. amen, the kingdom of God. Yes. Amen. That means the kingdom been there all along. Amen. Wow. Jesus reminded us that the kingdom was there. Amen. Amen. Where is the kingdom? The kingdom is within. Yes. Amen. But guess what? We spend so much time looking at the dirt so we can't see the kingdom. Wow. Amen. Wow. Yes, I love what Jack told me one time. He said that he took a man out into the woods and was trying to explain to him about the forest. Amen. And the man told me, he said, I don't see the forest. All I see is a bunch of trees. He said, you ain't in the midst of it right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you can't see the for the trees. And sometimes we can't see that there's no limitation because we're so busy looking at our circumstances, our situations, amen, instead of speaking to those things, amen, that they will be moved out of the Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm about to close, amen. I got a minute and a half, amen. Time is flying on this one. Yes, God. My last note, amen, says, 
you look at things sometimes and ask, why did he get five talents? Why did he get one? God said, stop focusing on the whys and the why nots. He said, focus on what I have given you. Step out of self and step into my glory. And all that you need will begin to manifest right before your eyes. He said, are you willing to forget about the one? Forget about the five. He said, go so far as to forget about the two and concentrate on the fact that I trusted you with my gifts. Now use them to do the will of the Father. Spread my word. Amen. 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 Pastor will let a Fauntleroy come forth and give us 